Namaste and welcome to Wellness Mantra. I trust you all had a great week and it's time to unwind today. So most of you who have been working from home or for that matter working, I know there's a lot of stress that you carry around, a lot of tensions and I think it's the best time to unwind a little bit of those tensions. The most um, affected part of your body when you are tensed or stressed is usually your shoulders and neck region primarily and um, today let's look at how we can release a little bit of that tension from your neck shoulder and upper back all right so let's begin with some basic practices which would help to release the tension from your neck and shoulders all right starting off with just closing your eyes taking a deep breath in inhaling and just observing yourself. Once again, take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you to let go of all the tension, all the stress that you've been letting build up in your body. Your body is your temple. Just let it go. Have a beautiful smile on your lips. Slowly open your eyes and get ready for the warm up. Let's just breathe in and stretch our neck out. Take it easy and slow. Breathe out and pull it down. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. For those of you who've experienced a stiff neck, um, it's probably not the easiest thing to do when, you, when I ask you to do a complete head rotation. Today, we'll bring in a little bit of a change. Instead of doing a complete head rotation using your entire neck muscles and head muscles, we're going to change it. We're going to just draw circles with our nose. Let's see how we do that, okay? So imagine this, this is surface in front of your nose and you're going to draw a small circle with your nose. That's easy. Just a small circle with your nose. One more time. Small circle with your nose. Now the other way around. Does that look easy? All right, so I want you to do it with me. Each time, we're going to make a spiral, starting off with a small circle and visualize it getting bigger and larger and larger and try to cover that large surface as you try to draw the circle with your nose. All right, let's start with a small circle, making it larger, spiraling it down and making it larger each time. Do it with complete awareness and now you can imagine the circle becoming so big that it is going beyond what your nose can draw but you're still reaching out and drawing it as big as you can. Enjoy that big circle that has expanded so much. And now we do the same thing to the other side, drawing small circles with your nose, starting off with small circles, expanding it as the spiral grows. Enjoy this phase. Remember to breathe normally as you keep drawing the circles, letting it become bigger and bigger. And enjoy the expansive nature of the circle. At a point you'll think you can't draw the circle anymore and I want you to still continue trying to reach out to the edges of that circle as you make it bigger and bigger. Observe your neck muscles for a moment and see the difference that you feel around your neck region as you try and draw these circles. Gently come to the center, relax and just observe the portion of your neck that is connected to your back and observe what you feel right now. 
Let's just do a little bit of clavicular breathing, a few rounds of clavicular breathing followed by other warm-ups. Breathing in, we raise our shoulder towards our ears. Breathing out and letting them relax. Make sure you roll your shoulders back as you do this. Don't let your shoulders come forward. Now let's breathe in, stretch them up nice and well. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in and let's take them up. Feel that pinch, feel the te tension and then slowly let go and breathe out and relax. Observe the neck muscles ease and relax into deep relaxation as you breathe out. Once again, breathe in and out. All right, palms to shoulder. Let's do those big circles now, breathing in. Out. Breathing in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now let's do it to the other side. Breathing in. In and out. One more round. In and out. And slowly stretch, interlock your fingers and stretch your arm out. Bring it in. Let's stretch it at the forehead. Breathing in and stretch. Breathe out and towards your forehead. One round towards your head. Breathe in, stretch it all the way up. Breathe out and relax. I want you to take your hands behind your back, interlock your fingers and give a nice pull to your shoulders. Pull in your elbows as much as you can. Stretch your neck out. Release and hug yourself nice and tight. And give yourself a nice stretch to the sides. The other way. All right just to ease all that tension we're just going to go one and two all right let's do a little bit of Bhatta Konasana where you meet your feet together and do the butterfly a little bit of Bhatta Konasana every day can go a long way so please try and practice the Bhatta Konasana whenever you can Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and relax. Alright, now let's do one more stretch that will actually help us with stretching out our upper back muscles. Alright, this is going to be fun. I, I'm sure you remember the cat cow posture that we practiced some time ago. Um, let's do the cat cow posture followed by this uh, particular stretch. So to do the stretch, you take your hand in front, your arm in front, make a fist of your palm, move your knees towards your fist and your elbow, place both your hands in front of you and then take a one hand distance forward from your tallest finger point. Now make both your legs parallel. Now 
your hands and your leg should be perpendicular to the ground. Now we breathe in and stretch up, lifting our head and tailbone upwards. Breathe out. This actually works the entire back region. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. And now we're going to take our left hand, stretch it up, and then slowly swing it past the right hand, allow the left hand to go there and stay here. This helps to release tension from your upper back. You can actually feel your shoulder blades at a beautiful stretch. Remember to breathe, enjoy the stretch and let's slowly come back. Now to the other side, what do we do? We raise our right hand, give it a nice stretch up and as you breathe out, swing your hand past your left hand, stretch it out, lower yourself and stretch the right hand above your head. Stay there, feel that fine stretch in your body. Slowly come up and let's just put our palms forward and stretch out and then slowly sit into our legs and stretch again. Today we're going to repeat the Gomukhasana. So the Gomukhasana is actually very very beneficial for your shoulders and your upper back. It removes stiffness of the shoulders, so it helps to keep your shoulders nice and well flexed. Now to do the Gomukhasana, try and place your knees one over the other. And then slowly take the hand of the leg that is on top. So this time it's my right leg. So I'm taking my right hand on the top and the left hand at the bottom will go down. So you see my hand there? We're going to say hello. And interlock our hands. As you stay there, try and point your elbow above your head and try to keep your head straight as much as you can. Once you've interlocked your fingers, stay there and breathe normally. Breathe out and slowly release. That was a nice and fine stretch all along your elbow into your arms. This time I'm going to place my left knee on top like that. Taking my left hand on top, right hand through the bottom. I'm going to see if I can say hello by interlocking my fingers together. Try to place your elbow on top of your head, directly ahead on top and smile Feel that beautiful stretch that runs along your elbow into your shoulders and then through your shoulders up to your waist. 
Enjoy the stretch. Even if you can't do a full round of this one, just go where your hand lets you. Stay there, relax, smile and keep breathing normally. Slowly let go and stretch your arms out. Now that was a beautiful stretch. Now let's just challenge our neck and head a little more. So this time I'm going to turn my head as much as I can towards the back. Then come forward to the other side and forward. One more time to the middle to the other side and then the middle. Now I'm going to take my hands interlocked fingers behind my back, behind the back of my head and I'm going to see if I can pull my head backwards. When you do this I want you to try and remember to keep your elbows open and do not let your shoulders close it in. So try and keep your elbows open, roll out your elbows and breathe in stretch. Breathe out and push your head down into your chest. Relax your spine as you do this. Breathe in and stretch it out. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in. This is one last round for this one. Breathe out and relax. Gently come to a steady posture. Release your arms. Stretch your left hand to the right side and just give a nice tug so that you feel that stretch along your shoulders, into your, through your neck, into your upper shoulder blades and then give it a nice tug. Let go of all that tension there. Now take your right arm to the left side and give it a nice tug, feeling that stretch through your neck, into your shoulders, into your shoulder blades and enjoy that beautiful stretch. Let go. Now what we practiced earlier was this. Now we're going to just stretch our hands out and push as you breathe in. And then embrace it all and breathe out. Once again, we're going to push all the negativity to the outside. Breathe in and push. We're going to breathe out and just pull them all in. One more time. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And as a conclusion for today, let's just take our hands by the side and then breathe in and take them up to form a Namaskara Mudra over the crown of our head. As you breathe out, I want, to put, I want you to pull your palms down, trying to draw a line, a virtual line with your thumb pointed towards your body, through the center of your body. We'll try that again with the sound Aum, so that you feel centered, feel more connected and see where it all began. Breathe in.
gently observe your body, feel the relaxation seep through, enjoy the silence that is within your body, understand that your true nature is happiness and that your soul knows nothing but happiness. With a beautiful smile on your face, I want you to just slide your hands through your face, pull it from behind your neck and slowly open your eyes to a beautiful bright day. I hope you enjoyed Wellness Mantra with me, Shama. I'll see you later. Until then, goodbye.